Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting here in my kitchen, well, at my kitchen table, my kitchen's behind me, um, and I'm bringing you my L3 Waxy Wonders RTS haul. I placed it, it was like a week and a half ago. Today is Tuesday. This came to me on Saturday, um, but I work the weekends, and they were really, really busy shifts, so I did not have the energy to, um, uh, I obviously don't have the energy to talk right now, <laughs> but the energy to film, you know, at night in between my shifts. So I'm a little bit later um, than some of the other people that I've already recorded and posted their videos, but it was kind of cool watching other people's. I listen to a lot of wax videos on the way to and from work. And then when I'm like showering after work and stuff like that, um, between like audible listening to books and wax videos, that's kind of what keeps me busy on my ride to and from work. Um, but what I was going to say is that I got a lot of the same sense that other waxies have already talked about. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. So I will be covering similar scents, but it's cool because we all have different takes on what things smell like, right? So first we're going to do samples. I'm always, I can't believe I remember to do the samples first. Okay. So three samples. The first one is a scoopable sample in autumn flannel, amber oud, and chai tea. That sounds interesting. I mostly get the autumn flannel and probably some amber oud. I'm not really smelling the chai tea. I'm not going to pop this one out because it's a scoopable. But yeah, I get a lot of the autumn flannel. This is like a very unsweetened, kind of spiced, um, woodsy scent. So maybe a nice time for a nighttime one, but that's really nice. The next one is pink sugar lavender cream. Ooh, I see. I like the lavender in this. Um, I've told you guys before with L3, because I'm a huge lavender lover, but with L3, I usually don't smell much of her lavender in her lavender blends. But this one is mostly lavender. I get lavender with like pink sugar in the background for sure. So that's really, really nice. I like that. Lavender cream. And <laughs> this is called nut cakes. I don't know. Oh, that is very, very, very sweet. Um, like a, almost like molasses or uh, maple or something like that. Um, too sweet for me, but that smells like it'd be very strong. Um, so let's do, I'll do um, bunt packs first. So I got four loaves, six scoopables, and one, two, three, four, five, six bunt packs, but three of the bunt packs are all the same scent. I'll just do that scent first. So um, Winter Snooze, as I've spoken about before, I love it very much. They had listed it for the sale in a scoopable. Well, it got sold out in minutes. <laughs> so um, I, was it me or someone else had posted something and I responded to them about, oh, it sold out before I could get it. Um, and then they were super nice and reported it and restocked it in bunts. So I hurried and grabbed three packs of the bunts. Now, Winter Snooze, if you weren't able to get a hold of it, is in her upcoming pre-order. I think it's on the 11th, 10th or 11th. It's on her Facebook page. Um, and it's in loaves. So I will still be getting some of those loaves. All I have left in my stock um, right now is one of her little leaf shapes in winter snooze. And that's it. Cause I went through my loaf. I went through like the three or four like pumpkin shapes that I had. So I just have the leaf shape and now I have my, well now six bunts of it. Um, but I will be getting one or two loaves in the pre-order because I don't see winter snooze coming back very often. I know the first time I got it in a loaf, someone like begged for it in the middle of summer for like two or three re restocks and she finally poured it. So I think to be able to like carry me through the rest of the year where it might not get poured again a lot, I might get two loaves in the pre-order. I'm really not um, interested in a ton of stuff in the pre-order. So I do have a list that I posted in the group, um, but I think there's probably, I'm probably going to really whittle that down and only get a couple things, but winter snooze is definitely going to be one of them. So the notes are not on here for some reason, but winter snooze is lavender chamomile and peppermint. Now, a couple other videos that I watched, they said the peppermint wasn't very apparent. 
which in my opinion, um, the peppermint is very apparent and I like very strong peppermint. So, um, part of why I really like this blend is the peppermint is very apparent and the lavender chamomile is a very, I think that it's its own specific oil because to me, it doesn't smell like a regular lavender, like blended with the chamomile oil. I think that lavender chamomile is a specific oil. It really supports the peppermint so that when it's melting, you can really smell the peppermint. This is one of my very, very favorite nighttime blends. It's just so calming. The chamomile really comes out. So does the peppermint. The lavender is there. Like it's one that you have to just smell and experience to understand like all the notes support each other and make everything else smell even better. Um, it smells really strong. It always performs. I love, love, love it. It's a great thrower. Like I said, I will be getting more of that. Um, this next one I was really excited for, and I know a lot of other people were too, and I was kind of hoping this was going to be in the pre-order. Um, I only got one month pack of it. I'm hoping that in the next, a couple like upcoming RTSs, this will be in it again, because this is kind of like a New Year's scent. This is Champagne Toast, Blackberry, and Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. If you don't know or don't remember, her Frosty Fizzy Bubbly is her ginger ale scent. And then Champagne Toast is the Bath and Body Works type, and then it's mixed with Blackberry. And it's so good. It's so good. I absolutely get her Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. I get the Champagne Toast and the juiciness of that Blackberry. Yeah, this to me is like ultimate, not that I really care about New Year's, but it's like the ultimate celebratory scent. Oh, it's so, so good. Um, this is one I would probably get in a loaf because not only is it great for like New Year's, but you can melt this anytime. It's a fruity, fizzy scent. Um, so you can melt it any time of year, especially spring, summer kind of a thing. Um, so really like this one. Glad I'm glad I got it, but it was sold out really fast. So, um, this one was kind of a wild card for me because I often don't like cream cheese frosting scents. I don't like to eat cream cheese frosting, but if it's blended good enough, then it's okay. So another bunt pack in cream cheese frosting, sugar cookie Royale and pumpkin pecan waffles. Love pumpkin pecan waffles, love sugar cookie royale. We'll see if the cream cheese uh, frosting makes that much of a difference. Whoa, it does. <laughs> I get cream cheese frosting first. Imagine that with those other oils. Definitely. I mean, I definitely smell the pumpkin pecan waffles. and I do smell the sugar cookie royale. But wow, that cream cheese frosting is strong. This is going to be one that I'm going to have to be like, I told you guys before, like every once in a while, I will crave like a super densely sweet scent and nothing seems sweet enough at that moment. This is one of those scents. It's still not as sweet as this nut cakes uh, sample though. Um, but yeah, lots of cream cheese frosting here. If you like cream cheese frosting, this is a strong one. And then my last bunt pack, I hadn't gotten L3's oatmeal cookies oil yet and I wanted to try it. I had tried another vendors and I really liked it. Um, so I got this one. This is pumpkin pie, zucchini bread, which I love zucchini bread blends, and oatmeal cookies. I don't think I've even smelled this one yet. Ooh, this is good. This is like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like one of those candles that you would buy that's like uh, home sweet home or like baking in the kitchen or like oatmeal cookie, like, like an oatmeal cookie candle. This oil smells more like an oatmeal cookie, but maybe because it's blended with that zucchini bread. This is really, really nice. Like this just smells like one of those, you come home to like baked goods that have spices in them kind of scent. While the notes might sound super fall or whatever, I do think this is one of those scents that like all year round you could smell and be like, that just smells like a coming home kind of scent. Really nice. And it smells like it's going to be really strong. Okay. So next are my scoopables. The spoon that I got this time, I think it's silver. I don't know. There might be a tint to it. I should ask my kids before they left for school. I think it's a silver spoon. I love these spoons so much. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I have so many of them now. You only get one. Even if you buy one scoopable or six scoopables like I did, you get one spoon. Um, I love to eat yogurt with these because it's like the containers are so small. The spoon's so small. 
Um, I have like three or four of these that I keep in my silverware drawer um, that I actually eat yogurt with. It's kind of funny. Anyways, I got another one, silver one. I have like 10 of them, I think. I love getting a new one every time. In fact, I've thought about buying more, but we'll see. Okay, so a couple of the scoopables I have already used um, just because I got them the first night and I was just so excited I wanted to smell them. So this first one I got um, is Candy Canes and Don't Cross Dreams. So I was excited about this one because you all know if you followed me for a while, I love mint scents so much. And her Don't Cross Dreams is such a good blend, um, which she has the, those notes here. Adipose, which is a marshmallow blend, vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, and vanilla ice cream. That is the Don't Cross Dreams blend. And then that is blended with a candy cane oil. So it's this really pretty, like, I mean, it makes you think of Christmas, like a really pretty red wax. It's a little more vivid on screen than in person. This is so good. The funny thing is this smells exactly like a blend from another, um, another vendor that I really, really like. Um, and I will just say the description is the same. And if you've followed me, you'll know what it is. This smells like you've gotten a, a huge, either like group of friends together or family together that have a bunch of kids and they're making cookies at a table and they're sugar cookies with like really dense buttercream frosting, not cream cheese frosting with like shattered pieces of candy canes. Like this is legitimately like a vanilla cookie, buttercream frosting, candy cane scent. So this is a very sweet, almost bakery, but definitely candy cane scent. And I melted this um, while I slept on, I think it was, excuse me, I think it was Saturday night. Really, really liked it. But this isn't like a bedtime mint scent per se. This is definitely like a festive bakery candy cane. Like you could do this any time of the day during the holidays. Um, so really like that one. I don't think it's one I need like loads of by any means, but it's really fun for, you know, around Christmas time. The next one that I've already melted, I melted this one in my bathroom. Um, and quite a few people have gotten this one and spoken about it and loved it. And I don't know how I've forgotten already, but someone made this as a custom, right? Or was going to make this as a custom. I'm trying to remember. I'm so sorry. If it was you, please comment below. This is Rosemary Mint, Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Had to get this one because I love Rosemary Mint. I love Peppermint. And Vanilla Bean Noel, someday I want to just get a plain scoopable of it because, or something of it, because I feel like it's always added into things. And I'm just always like, hmm, I don't know what that's adding to it. Ugh, but you know what? I actually do smell the Vanilla Bean Noel on this. Because I've smelled it, at, obviously, at Bath & Body Works over the years. But... Oh man, that's so good. What I get here first is peppermint, then the rosemary mint, and the, the vanilla bean noel. The reason why vanilla bean noel is so nice to add to mints is it's a very sweet vanilla without being too dense. It's not a super dense vanilla, but it's almost like, it's almost powdery and creamy at the same time. It's kind of interesting. So it really lends to mint blends. Yeah, so I melted this in my bathroom and it was beautiful. The, what comes to mind when I smell this is like, um, the air is cold. Like maybe you're like at an ice skating rink and you're eating like butter mints, like the air is cold. Your nose is cold. You're breathing in cold air and you're eating something sweet and minty. Does that make sense? Um, really like this one. I would definitely get more in this more scoops, more, I would loaves, everything while this does, like I said, bring to mind, like winter air, um, I would melt that all year round. This is very nice, very like special, very fabulous. The next one I got was just another one of, I don't know, I think this is my fifth scoopable, but one of them I gifted to somebody because I loved it and I wanted them to experience it. Um, this is my love, blue sugar, warm vanilla sugar, and zucchini bread. Um, there's just nothing else like it. Blue sugar and zucchini bread together are just magical. I don't know what else to say. Um, I think I've gone through two scoops of it. I have one that's about halfway gone right now, a full one, I think, and then this one. I just never want to run out of it. Um, if you have had this, you know. Oh, it's so good. There is just ma something like magic happens when blue sugar and zucchini bread get blended together. Um, the next one here, 
is Birthday Cake and Coffee House. I love when the wax is this color. The only thing is this light pink, like this light hot pink almost. It looks very innocent, but it stains warmer. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite wax colors. Um, so I was very excited for this because I love the Coffee House oil. Her Birthday Cake oil is so tooth achingly sweet. Like, I am not sure I've ever had a birthday cake this sweet in my life. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to melt this. I might have to rehome this because I honestly don't even, I hardly get any coffee in here. I just get the sweetest like sugar overload birthday cake in here. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might just rehome that one. It's not my jam. I do want to try her coffee house either by itself or like with zucchini bread or um, sugar cookie royale or some other bakery sweet, something that I can tolerate. That is too sweet. Um, the next one up, speaking of sweet, is the burrow and pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, with this RTS, there were so many pumpkin pecan waffle blends and I didn't get any of them, and which is interesting because I love pumpkin pecan waffles. And then I was talking to Lori, we all know Lori, um, on Facebook, and she was like, yeah, I just can't stay away from the pumpkin pecan waffle blends. And I was like, oh gosh, I didn't get any pumpkin pecan waffle blends. Let me go back and look. So I did, and I got this one. Um, so this one, I love the burrow. Um, I had it plain. I think it's really good. To me, it does not smell like just a generic bakery cinnamon roll blend. It's close, but there's something in it that makes it the tiniest bit special um, like almost like the browned edge of a cinnamon roll, like on the edge of a pan, something like that. I don't know, but it smells just a little bit different than a generic bakery cinnamon, cinnamon roll scent. And then it's blended with pumpkin pecan waffles. So the burrow is fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. And then it's with the pumpkin pecan waffles. I have no idea what color this is. And it smells great. I mostly get the pumpkin pecan waffles, but I definitely get a cinnamon roll with it. And so I'm happy to have that. I needed at least one PPW uh, blend because I love it so much, even year round. What's so interesting is before Vendor Wax, and even really before this last year um, in Vendor Wax for me, I hated pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, even at Bath and Body Works, I would smell the candle and I'm like, why would anyone melt this in their house? This is just so dense and strong and sweet. And why would you want that? And now I understand it's housewarming. It's delicious. And Jennifer absolutely has the best oil hands down in my opinion. Okay. This last scoopable is not really a winter scent by any means, but I saw it and I had to have it. So first of all, I love fizzy scents and I... One of my very favorite summer oils that I don't think gets enough love is grapefruit mango steen. I've used it in customs from other vendors um, and I've melted it from various vendors. It is an amazing summer oil, you guys. Ugh, if you like grapefruit, because you definitely get that top sharpness of the grapefruit, but the mango steen, it's not mango, but it does kind of, it's it comes off kind of as mango. Um, there's that sharp, grapefruit juice segment almost it smells like blended with like a fleshy juicy ripe mango oh it's so good oh, and then it's blended with fizzy pop I mean I'm not sure if there's a more perfect summer blend to my nose than this I might like it better with frosty fizzy bubbly than fizzy pop but man that is good I need this many times over. Um, whoever requested this, I don't know if you requested it or if Jennifer just decided to port herself, but thank you because I, I love it so, so much. And I will be definitely begging and requesting her to be repouring this like all year because this is fabulous. Okay. Next up are my four loaves. Um, one of them I requested and then the other three, I don't know if, um, people, like if they were their customs, I can't remember. Um, or if they were just requests, I'm not sure. Two of them I've already chopped up because I wanted to melt them. Um, a couple of people asked me about what I thought about a couple of the blends. So I wanted to melt them to let them know. Um, but first one I'll, I'll talk about is my request. I, I received this one in a bunt pack 
like a month ago or two months ago. I can't exactly remember. And it was one that I almost didn't buy um, with that bunt pack. I almost was like, do I need that? Like, that sounds like I would like it, but not love it. I don't know. Then I got it and I melted it and I loved it. Um, it's not like a Danny scent per se, um, but just kind of like the Champagne Toast, Blackberry, Frosty, Fizzy, Bubbly, this scent is very festive. Like I think it can be festive for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for New Year's, and then you can melt it the rest of the year because it's just a really fun, bright, fruity scent. Um, but it really just reminds me of like, if you're at a holiday party and like champagne is fizzing and there's cranberry things everywhere and it's just, there's a lot of people movement happening and people are just happy and laughing. That kind of, that's what this reminds me of. And I needed a breakup of like the bakery spice and the tree and the mint. I just wanted something different. And so I requested this and she poured it and I'm so excited that she did. And I hope that someone else got this scent. I haven't seen that so far. Maybe they did and I was busy when I was listening to the video or something. I don't know. Anyway, and I'm not even sure what color this loaf is, but uh, Santa's Sleigh Ride. The notes are brandied pear, cranberry, and pomegranate. Now, part of the reason I was hesitant from buying it is cranberry can be weird for me. I love to eat like real cranberry stuff. That's my favorite part of Thanksgiving is homemade cranberry relish. Um, but don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll eat me a can of cranberry jelly too. Don't you worry. I love cranberry everything. But, oh my gosh, I can smell it from here. Oh, so good. Um, in Bender Wax, there's so many different cranberry oils and they really smell different. On cold, when I first received this in the bunt packs, I was like, ah, oh, crap. This is the really like sweet cranberry. And maybe it still is, but because of the pomegranate oil, pomegranate's deeper and more tart than even cranberry, it comes off as tart to me and I love it. Now the brandied pear on cold, you guys, just so you know, is boozy. It's a little bit boozy. So don't let it throw you off. And maybe you like the boozy note, I don't know. But on warm, that booziness kind of goes away and just makes the brandied pear be very juicy, like a very ripe pear, not overripe, just ripe. And then the cranberry comes in and is super juicy and that pomegranate is dark and tart and this, it makes it smell fizzy because of all those notes together. Oh, it's seriously magical. I melted this in my room and I hoarded my last bunch of it but until I could get this low. It's so special. I hope that someone else got it and that they can tell me what they think because it's just so fun, but still like, this is a great one, like a winter morning, you could, you know, wake up with it. Um, it kind of reminds me of one of the things that I liked as a kid or whatever. I've even made it as an adult, but in the winter time, if you're having like a get together, if you are making punch or drinks or whatever, um, I like to get to like a big bowl <clears throat> with ice and you put Sprite or seven up some type of lemon lime soda. And then you put like a true cranberry juice in it, not a cranberry juice cocktail, like legit straight up cranberry juice that is not watered down in with that. And then you pour it over a scoop of vanilla ice cream, like a float. It is like the best Christmas time root beer float version. So good. Um, and it kind of just reminds me of that. So anyway, I just talked about that a lot, but get it. Santa sleigh rides. Awesome. Okay. The first one that I was asked about, I've already chopped this one up and I have it kind of in these slices because I'm going to share some of it. Um, was it Morrison Blue that asked me about this one? Someone did. Anyways, on cold, this was my favorite loaf out of all of them. It's called Silent Night. It's so interesting, you guys. Okay. So the notes here are fresh snow, sweet lavender, and sugared spruce. And on cold, this was my favorite. Like I really smell that sugared spruce and a touch of that lavender. And I'm not exactly sure what fresh snow is, but I think there's a touch of mint in it. Maybe like something like it's uplifting, um, like, like ozone mint, maybe the smallest touch of like bergamot or something like that. Anyways, I do really like it. But when I melted it, 
it smells like a Lush store. Like it doesn't smell like it here. But when I melted it, my bathroom smelled like a freaking Lush store. Um, so it smelled really good. Don't get me wrong. I just was like, what? This does not smell like trees and lavender and fresh air. Like this smells like a Lush store. So I don't really know how I feel about this yet. Um, if you've gotten it and melted it already, let me know. Oh, the throw, by the way, was insane. Like it was coming out the doors in the bathroom. Um, so, but it really can be melted all year because it just smells like a Lush store. Yeah, I don't know. It was very unique. I think I like it on cold better than on warm. But I don't know. Maybe by the time I'm done with this loaf, I'll be in love with it. The thing that kind of sucks is I don't know yet. And this scent is in her pre-order coming up. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a loaf of it. Because it's. I think it's only in loaves. Um, it's unique. I don't know. We'll see. The other one I cut up, I just, I was very interested in trying this one um, because this is her pine tree, her sugar cookie oil, not her sugar cookie royale, and her peppermint oil. I was interested in smelling this one because I usually don't like her sugar cookie oil because it has that maple, like molasses -y scent to me. And on cold, I didn't smell it at all. Like I don't smell any bakery or sweetness in here whatsoever. Yeah, like, heart, like this just smells like pine tree and peppermint to me. Maybe like that, the peppermint is a tiny bit sweetened, maybe by that sugar cookie. But it's almost like fine to me because I don't like her sugar cookie oil. So it's kind of just like a pine tree scent with a sweetened peppermint. Except that the peppermint is still her true peppermint oil, so it still really stands out. Yeah, I really like it. I'm glad the sugar cookie doesn't really come out. So just so you know. That's my vibe on this one. Perfect. This is also a perfect bedtime or anytime uh, cold weather scent or any time of the year. Honestly, I melt pine blends all year round. I have other vendors blends that have pine in them that are mixed with like lavender and mint that I melt all the time. The pine, I think, just kind of elevates things and make them smell fresher and cleaner. So that's my vibe on that one. And then my last loaf here, I haven't chopped up yet, but I kind of want to just to kind of get more of a feel for it also. Um, this is peppermint, rosemary mint, and vanilla balsam. And watching other people's hauls, I know quite a few people got this one. Um, also, because I think a lot of people like me love rosemary mint oil. Um, I love, love, love rosemary mint. So, you know, I'm getting a lot of tree in this one. Definitely vanilla balsam. Let me flip the loaf out. To my nose right now, it's like 75% vanilla balsam. But I do get, I can't quite tell here if the rosemary mint or peppermint is stronger. Because the rosemary might be kind of blending into that tree vibe. I mean, I definitely get mint here. Don't get me wrong. But the vanilla balsam is very strong. Like this is more like Christmas specific or like winter specific but it just it smells like christmas yeah so this will be like i'll probably melt through this one before the other ones um like in the month of december because this is more so christmas specific to my nose and brain so i really like it i'm glad i got it um but it's just more like you know specific of a scent so anyways guys that was my entire l3 haul like I said, if you want to go to her Facebook page, um, she does have her pre-order listed. And I cannot remember if it's November 10th or 11th. I cannot remember. It's one of those, I think. Um, and she has it all listed. I know that she's doing some body products, the B Lux products. Um, there are puppy packs. There are, oh, there's a, quite a few samplers. There's a cranberry marmalade sampler, which I'm really excited about. There's a Christmas, just like a general Christmas sampler, a tree sampler, a coffee kind of sampler. Um, I can't remember what else. Anyways, but there's, I think, more samplers than ever going on there. Um, and then there's loaves. I think that's everything. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you got. I love L3 hauls. I'm kind of addicted to watching L3 hauls. Um, and yeah, hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you later. Bye.